talked about, you know, when you started out, and, you know, the first few years in the business for you, you know, you had wrestled guys like the original Sheik. Yeah, Eddie Farhat. He, uh, so I, I spent about eight months in Canada with Stu Hart. And I, I was talking to my dad a lot. He says, I'm going to send you to Detroit with Eddie Farhat, Sheik. So I went to Detroit, Sheraton Cadillac's the first place I remember in Detroit where I stayed. They put me there, and then they, they came and got me the next day. Porky Pig was his name, Mike Lauren or something, picked me up at Sheraton Cadillac and took me out to the Sheik's farm, and I ended up staying out there for six weeks. I stayed. He had a floor downstairs like a basement, but it was all... He had a couple of rooms down there, and and Sheik's uh, son was down there with me, and I had my own room down there. I stayed about six weeks. There was a ring out in the back, and I was supposed to be working out with people, but nobody ever came out there to work out with me. And the Sheik didn't work out with me either because basically all the Sheik, what's he going to do, show me how to use a pencil and jab it in somebody's throat? So I, uh, but I did start wrestling right away. I already kind of broke in. I never liked these gyms and working out. I like to work, you know, you got to learn it in front of the people, really. That's, that's where you learn it. Not in somebody's backyard by the swimming pool and the hot sun. You know, you can learn basic, but I knew all the basics. So I went out on the road Bobo Brazil rode with him, big name, great guy. Uh, rode with uh, with the Outlaws. It was Dick Mur Dick Murdoch and Dusty Rhodes back in the day, and uh, so all these different shows we we worked in Dayton, Ohio, Finley, Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, Detroit, Michigan, Cobo Hall, uh, Flint, all these different places in, in Michigan. I really remember Ohio, though. He went to Ohio a lot, different shows. And uh, But Sheik was always a nice guy to me. You know, he'd laugh at me, and he's the one actually, he gave me the name Babyface Nelson. <laughs> I did not like that name, Babyface Nelson, but I had the baby face, you know, it was, so I went with that for a while. And uh, I remember after I'd been there about six weeks, Eddie Farnett, the sheet, comes up to me and goes, well, Greg, you're go he says, I'm sorry to tell you, but you got to move out. And we're going to put you in Toledo down there and got a nice hotel for you to stay. And uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it, Waldorf, but it wasn't, a, you know, you, you think of the Waldorf as, the Waldorf Astoria, a really nice hotel. This was an okay hotel, but they gave me a really good rate, and it was right down Toledo, Ohio, of all places. But that was the center of the territory, so that's where Bobo would pick me up, or um, uh, Haystacks Calhoun and Jack Terry, the Outlaws, Dusty Rhodes, Dick Murdoch. They, I'd ride... So I had rides all the time, didn't have a car, and uh, go back to that hotel. But it was it was okay, you know. They had they had a restaurant there 24 hours, and just a young kid. So uh, I remember a real funny story. Haystacks Calhoun, everybody remembers this big, huge guy, and Jack Terry was his manager, and I'd ride with them. And they go, hey, Greg, you want some sandwiches? So I'm eating sandwiches and I'm having some. Good. So at the end of the, they would charge you trance back then, right? So you'd pay so much a mile, which is fair. I'm not making a dime back then, but, you know, I shelled out the money. And then they charged me for the sandwiches. That'll be $2 for each sandwich. And see, you had three of them. Now, if I'd known that, I wouldn't have eaten them. <laughs> I, I, I'm making nothing back in those days, fifty, sixty dollars a week. So I you know, that's a funny story. 
Bobo used to pick me up too, and I was Bobo was complete class act. He drove around with his suit on all the time. He had a big Lincoln Continental and smoking a cigar, and I set up front with him. And he didn't charge me trance. He didn't have sandwiches. We would stop somewhere, maybe get food. He would pay for it. Class act. And I, didn't, I when I wrestled Bobo, it was a class act, you know. To, just a great guy, Bobo Brazil. And the and the outlaws, Murdoch and Rhodes, they actually lived in Toledo. They had their wives there and their kids, and they had an apartment not too far from where I was at. So I rode with them a lot, too. 